right, let's go ahead and get this started. Everything looking good on my end. Should be coming through here any second. Volume looks good and we're live. Welcome back to the channel, Crypto Trend Trader with our Sunday evening market look ahead. It is 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on September 19th, 2021. Uh, before we get started tonight, I would like to remind you, as always, this is not financial advice. These markets are extremely volatile. Please do your own research. Trade responsibly. All right, let's jump right in here. Uh, so we did get our Bitcoin close for the day at uh, 47,200 roughly. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, we'll mix it up a little bit today and uh, we'll get started with crypto. So uh, just looking at our Bitcoin CME futures chart, um, you know, we can basically see that whatever action happened over the weekend, uh, as almost always, uh, you know, was basically just erased. Uh, we went up a little bit during the weekend, came back down, and then we just reopened right at the CME close. Uh, that is an extreme sign of weakness for me. Um, the bulls are trying to pump up the price as much as they can, trying to uh, get people to FOMO in, trying to reignite the rally, and uh, they are failing to do so. And I say that because, you know, half the market is closed, and just say spot market is half the market, and futures is half the market. The best time to score a goal is when there's no goalie. Uh, so if they can't, you know, typically spot market is going to be much more bullish than futures because futures is professionals trying to make money. Spot market is, you know, basically amateurs or cult members uh, trying to just pump up the price as much as they can. And obviously I am a huge believer in crypto, a big fan of Bitcoin and most of the majors. Uh, but, you know, I'm also a technical analyst and a trader and investor. So to me, what matters is the truth, uh, not the narrative that you want or the narrative that is being pitched. So uh, looking here at the Bitcoin futures chart, uh, what we can see, obviously, uh, you know, we called the top back here based on the triple bearish divergence, called the bottom right here based on our triple bullish divergence, uh, you know, rode that back up to the top here again. And now we saw once again, triple bearish divergence or quadruple bearish divergence playing out uh, at which point in time we got the big dump we were able to essentially we closed a bunch of times underneath eight and the 21 but we were able to rally up slightly and save that price action and now what we see happening is you know we have basically lost the gap between the eight and the 21 uh, so whatever happens during this week one way or another we're either gonna have to rally up and we can start to have these two moving averages diverge from each other or if we start to just close down here below them they're going to cross back down to the downside the last time they crossed to the downside was back here on april 21st and resulted in you know uh, over 50 percent dump on bitcoin so uh since then we had a rally back up and the rally took us essentially back up to a lower high uh, which was another 82% to the upside, uh, you know, which is obviously excellent. Nice little rally to capture there. And again, we were able to enter that position, uh, you know, over the weekend off of that 30,000 level. And then once again, we were able to take profits here at roughly 52,000, perfectly called the top. And now here we are, you know, basically confirming a lower high. And if you look at the, uh, you know, the thumbnail of the video today, uh, this is exactly what a market cycle top looks like. Uh, this is exactly, you know, what happens. We go through a euphoria phase, we have the pullback, and then we enter complacency and everybody just says, oh, we got to cool off. Price was getting too hot. We'll still be at 75,000 by the end of the year, 100,000, a million. Everything's fine. Things are great. And then, you know, don't realize that the trend has actually changed and we are now confirming a lower macro high. So, uh, you know, obviously there's still a possibility that we could save the trend and rally to the upside. Uh, but now on the daily, we are seeing basically an 821 cross getting ready to happen. We're seeing the 200 exponential and simple still slope to the upside based on the futures chart, which is good. But again, we got a hard sell signal leaving the bullish control zone and the Stokes angled powerfully to the downside. We did see a slight bounce on the blue stochastic right here. Uh, but again, you know, it looks like that's getting re rejected and ready to roll over. Uh, and then obviously, if we look at the TJD, TD, MACD, you know, what we're paying attention for is we want the histograms to be green. We want the slope line to be blue. Once we start breaking down and the slope line is turning red, we're entering into a bearish macro trend. Again, here we have 
blue slope line to the upside again but now we're seeing more red histograms than green and we are now below the slope line so if we spend enough time below that slope line it's going to flip over red once again so we're basically at that same phase uh, right before the big dump last time and you know you'll see the exact same thing playing out once again now it's still possible we come up here and put in a slightly higher high um, before the sell-off but it looks less and less likely as we lose momentum on this trend um, we tried to have a little push up over the weekend and like i said it was you know what amounts to a pathetic attempt uh, by the crypto cult so uh, here we have the uh, Bitcoin Bitstamp chart on the daily. This one's going to give us a little more complete of a picture. Uh, again, you know, we see 1C8 and 21 cross the downside here um, in April. We essentially had that little sell-off, came up and confirmed a lower high. When it flipped back again to the downside, we had that capitulation move. And now we have a little better picture of the 200 exponential and simple here. Uh, we were able to rally back up, find support on the 200 exponential, get back above the 200 simple. But we see the slope line has been starting to turn, uh, you know, purple or pink or whatever color that is on your screen. Uh, and now here we have with that daily close today, confirmed the 821 cross to the downside. We have lost the slope on the 200 simple, even though we're still on top of it. It shows extreme weakness when you're on top of the slope line and it's still trending to the downside. So I think it's very likely that we will be down here at 45.865 uh, today or in the next 24 hours. And then we are very, very likely going to be retesting uh, this 42,500 level. Um, at that point in time, Anything could happen. Maybe we find support at the top of this initial push up and at that 42,000 level at the 200 exponential. But I think, again, we would just push back up and confirm another lower high. So what I'm paying attention to is, you know, if this confirms basically as a lower high, what kind of slope line is that going to give us? And then is that going to just act as resistance every time we push back up to it? Uh, we are getting the hard buy signal on the daily right here. Uh, but this is the type of signal too when you get the cross. Uh, this can either be a fake out or if we just start to sell back off, uh, you know, these stochastics won't actually print till the end of the day. So it could easily just look like a rejection off that level. The same way this was a rejection and then we continue to the upside, uh, we can see the same thing happen where we get a slight cross like that or like an actual rejection like this and then continue to the downside. So, um, but again, you know, we have lost the slope line here on the TJD, TD, MACD after we put in essentially like three or four drives of bearish divergence showing that we were in a upward trend uh, inside of a internal retracement from the downtrend and that this trend was unsustainable uh, because the indicator oscillators were not using an equal amount of energy to the price action that we were seeing. So once again, we saw the bullish euphoria back in the markets. We saw the complacency, but in all actuality, what's taking place right now is a game of musical chairs. Uh, whenever a rally is strong whenever we see the crypto space trending to the upside uh, we were seeing bitcoin go up we were seeing all the altcoins go up we were seeing everything moving just in different like little steps some things were moving more one day other things were moving more the next day but they were all moving now that is not the case we're seeing one thing here and there rally one thing here and there rally and what that tells us is is that there's a limited amount of money that's cycling around between these things and that everybody is just fomoing into whatever's moving uh, and eventually you know like always we say that it's unsustainable and it's typically a sign of distribution taking place uh, which obviously you know how I feel about that, as we did call perfectly the Wyckoff distribution top uh, back here as well. So uh, that is very likely what's happening and will continue to happen. Uh, we are definitely losing strength on this trend. We did have a nice rally to the top, uh, had uh, great profits. Uh, but once again, I'm seeing the entire crypto space talking about new highs, getting extremely bullish. And this is exactly what we don't want to see is a lower high. Uh, you know, that's literally how every market tops. You know, and without getting too lewd, you know, this essentially shows you what's the problem right now. Well, all this money has been made in the space and there's no new money coming in right now. There's nobody else bringing money in. They're talking about we're onboarding all these users. There's millions of people, hundreds of millions of people. There's all these outflows off of the exchanges. We have all these things that are telling us it's bullish. Well, the one thing that has worked since the beginning of time, since charting started, was determining the top by a lower high. So uh, I think that's a little more reliable than coin metrics from, you know, a 16 year old kid that's still in college. But what do I know? I mean, it's the crypto space. So let's let's just believe in people that have never been involved in a market uh, for, you know, a year. But whatever, uh, you know, 
if you got those Twitter followers and people like what you're laying down, by all means. Uh, but it does not mean that you're going to be right. Uh, so here we have the Bitcoin Bitstamp chart with a couple different indicator oscillators in place. Uh, here we'll see once again, stochastics are moved to the upside, but a typical place that will get rejected is at the RSI. So we have the RSI and the EMA of the RSI, RSI in white, EMA in yellow. And it looks like we're basically going to come back up to the 50% or the neutral zone. And then we'll see a rejection there. So uh, that is what I'm expecting. Uh, we see here the Fisher uh, is trending to the upside. Again, we want to pay attention to what happens here. Do we get back above the zero line? Do we just put in another one of these like lower peaks? Um, essentially, this just looks like a reset on the indicator oscillator taking place. Um, and then finally, we'll see obviously uh, TJD water tar explosion uh, very clearly. This is sellers are in control and have been in control. Um, and we saw a blue slope line was increasing here, showing us that the trend was strengthening to the downside. Here it went neutral for a little bit or was losing strength to the downside. And now we're seeing more selling come in. The slope line is flipping back over blue, uh, telling us that once again, the selling is about to begin and it's going to accelerate or gain strength to the downside. So uh, that is what I'm expecting. And then we can pay attention when we get to some of those key levels. Uh, you know what happens from there but you know it's important that we pay attention to the actual technicals uh you know if you go anywhere and just listen to what everyone's saying you know they were the most bullish at the top they were the most bearish at the bottom and now once again they are the most bullish once again so we'll see how that works out for them same people that were holding bags in 2017 will end up holding bags this time plus so many more uh, here we have the uh, Coinbase chart. Doesn't matter which chart we're looking at, but very clearly demonstrated the bearish divergence and bullish divergence uh, that we're seeing in the markets. Very clearly see the breakdown of the channel right here. And now once again, pushing back up to put in a lower high. Uh, we're seeing the stochastics rolling over to the downside. We're seeing the RSI rolling over to the downside. And now it looked like we were going to attempt to push back up with the MACD. But once again, we still have a slope line to the downside on the MACD. And we have seen a red uh bar show up here saying once again that it looks like we're going to start strengthening to the downside uh, so that is what i'm expecting to happen uh based on technicals not just moon boy hopes and dreams uh which blows my mind because after the massive amazing crypto run that we had over like the last year basically and the amount of gains that everyone made it blows my mind that it's not enough for people and they still have to like fake to be bullish or pretend to be bullish or maybe they've just all drank the kool-aid absolutely blows my mind it's like at what point in time is it enough if bitcoin did hit a hundred thousand or maybe it hit a million would it be enough then or would it have to go to 10 million then would people be calling out uh you know billion dollar bitcoin um how long till someone makes the next prediction prediction and it's trillion dollar bitcoin probably soon I mean, it'll probably, I'm sure somebody has probably already said trillion dollar Bitcoin, you know, by end of day. Uh, so Ethereum looking very weak, uh, topped out, could not close above 4,000, obviously. And now here we have the daily cross back to the downside. We tried to avert it right here, push back up and it completely failed. Looks like we're coming back down. I very likely expect Ethereum, the initial target probably being these little two peaks right here, about 3,000, nice round number, 10% to the downside. Uh, but in all reality, we're going to 2,600. Uh, we're going to bounce to 200 exponential and simple and then try to push back up from there. But uh, looking weak now, Ethereum has stayed stronger than most uh, throughout this trend. And, you know, I was unable to rally and really do anything from here. So, and then here we'll see on the TJD, TD, MACD, we have rolled over. We have a red slope line. We're below the zero line. We have red histograms. Uh, very, very bearish looking. Uh, as far as I'm concerned. And again, no surprise as we did have a peak right here and then we had a lower high peak right here. Uh, you know, and then obviously we had a peak right here and a higher high peak right here. Once again, bearish divergence playing out, you know, telling us the dump was going to happen before it happened. But you know, all these people are essentially hindsight traders or hindsight technical analysts. They wait until a move happens. They come back on afterwards and they tell you about the move and try to explain why the move happened. Uh, you know, there's very few people in this space, very few people on YouTube or anywhere in the financial world that actually look at the markets, look at the indicators, write their own indicators, do actual technical analysis and actually see these moves happening ahead of time, uh, which is probably why you guys are here because you know that I'm one of the few and also one of the proud. Sorry, who's that? The army? Sorry, I stole your uh, theme there or your uh, mantra, whatever it is. Uh, so ETH to Bitcoin ratio, uh, you know, obviously we called out the break, the bullish break of the bearish pattern, broke out to the top, found support here, continued, started to build 
a channel to the upside here and now here we have broken down from the channel this was our key area we needed to maintain support we have a cross between the 8 and 21 just like we did here but we bounced the support line and got to move back to the upside we have got a cross between the 8 and 21 here we have failed to rally above we put in once again um you know basically a rejection of the blue slope line here and then it's rolled over looks like it's going to flip over red looks like we're headed back down here now in this case we have confluence between the breakout of the triangle resistance which we would expect to act as support and then also the 200 exponential and simple and then once again we have the base of the initial triangle itself so now if we do continue to the downside on the you know bitcoin ethereum ratio i would expect this area down here at like 0 0.58 to 0 0.6 uh to be the key target for ethereum to try and rally and move back to the upside but at this point in time once again we have a high and then we have a lower high on our uh, price action right here or i'm sorry on our uh, ratio right here the same as we did on price action uh ftt uh or ftx token you know put in a new high right here i uh, got a very nice top at the 1.236 breaking down looks like the daily is getting ready to cross and break down from here um i would expect a initial support around like 51 51 50 somewhere around there at the peak of these highs here uh we're essentially now just testing the previous all-time high for support if we break down from that i would expect the fibonacci support of the 0.5 and also the 200 exponential and simple we have lost the slope on the tjd td macd we got a hard sell signal at the top of the range the 8 and 21 are crossing down um you know i trust the chart uh chain link again you know failing to get back above we had a very beautiful trade played out 20 something percent to the upside topped out perfectly at our resistance unable to break above the resistance broke down immediately back to the 200 exponential uh we are now below the 200 i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the chain link uh trade setup there just to clear this up some uh we have now an 8 and 21 across the downside we have lost the slope on the 200 simple and we are below the slope we are or the 200 simple we're still above the 200 exponential for now but at this point in time we're basically just going to range trade in my opinion between 25 dollars and 20 cents and 28 dollars and then when we do get the break when the market does decide on direction uh chain link will follow and in my opinion that will be to the downside uh, it looks like we are rolling over on the stochastics here we have lost the slope line on the tjd td macd once again the markets look extremely weak anyone that is saying they're strong right now is obviously delusional uh ftm uh you know and if the market does start looking strong again by all means i will be the first one to actually tell you but you know don't don't believe the hype right now the snake oil salesmen are strong the truth is i would have a hundred thousand subscribers if i just sat here and told you what you wanted to hear you know if i just you know told you how pretty your wife is or how cute and smart your kids are or how adorable your dog is but the truth is if shit's ugly i'm gonna tell you it's ugly it doesn't make me the most popular but you know i will actually help you in these markets remember that's not financial advice i'm not your financial advisor these markets are extremely volatile please do your own research and trade responsibly but just remember when people are right and remember when they're wrong remember who tells you about things ahead of time and who just talks about the stuff that happened and why it happened afterwards you know that's it's just like justifying something you're like you cheat on your girlfriend after you cheat on her you know you made a mistake so you come back you try to justify it you know you're still a piece of shit even though you justified it and that's how i feel about these quote unquote analysts uh these technical anal boys the moon boys whatever you want to call them uh ftm phantom token again put in a new high right here come back up could not get above that key resistance level and now once again losing strength still slightly more bullish as we have maintained the 821 it's not crossed to the downside yet we're still above the blue slope line for now uh you know you could argue that this is a bullish reset and that this will be the next shit coin to run uh but again it's just going to do what the actual market does uh, but it does look better than most uh solana once again you know i was telling everyone at 200 dollars this thing was completely overpriced uh we got into the solana trade at like 40 something dollars on the breakout and retest uh you know obviously taking profits along the way it has already since the top at 215 dollars you know pulled back 50 bucks or more since then so you know people that bought into the hype at the top have already lost like 25 percent plus of their money we're seeing all red histograms we see a sell by sell left the bullish control zone call the absolute top barely hanging on to the 21 looks like we're getting ready to break out break down now 8 and 21 have not crossed to the downside yet uh but we have very clear strength to the downside on the stochastics we have lost the support of the slope line it is still blue but we have had only red histograms since the breakdown there 
Anyone that is telling you this is a good opportunity to buy Solana when it pulled back down here, anyone that's telling you this thing still has continuation to the upside is absolutely delusional. And all they're trying to do is pump their own bags by getting you to buy in and waste your money because they don't care about you. They don't care about crypto. All they care about is their own bags going higher. And they probably understand that they missed their chance to dump. And now they're trying to pump it back up so that they can dump on your face. Uh, SRM. Uh, top back out here, basically a double top at this point in time. Got a little wick to the upside. Saw a pretty bearish candle come in, uh, breaking down in between the 8 and 21 for now. Technically broke down from the 21, but they have not crossed to the downside yet. Again, same weakness on this chart. I would expect 786 at $9 roughly to hold support. After that, the 618, we've got the 200 exponential on simple here. So probably somewhere around like 650 if we see continuation to the downside. Uh, basic attention token topped out exactly as a dollar as expected. We now have the 821 cross back to the downside. Everything is strengthening to the downside. Looks very weak. Uh, you know, we have some support through these different levels. But at this point in time, it looks like we're just going to step back down. Uh, if we just basically put in a, you know, internal retracement of our Fibonacci uh, from our top to bottom, we can see this thing is trading fairly technically uh, from that little dollar top that was exactly at the 61.8% retracement of the bearish move to the downside. So we basically dumped. We moved back up 61.8% of the dump, and now we're selling back off to the downside. We are bouncing the 382 from now. We could not get back above the 0.5 on this little pathetic attempt of a rally right here. If this level breaks, I do expect basic attention token back down at 58 cents, at which point in time it will be in the serious danger zone because if it breaks down from that level, it's going to look like it's going down to 42 cents or much, much lower uh, if we see continuation. So uh, Uniswap, again, fairly weak. Still between the 200 exponential and simple. Lost the slope on the 200 simple. 821 have crossed to the downside. Barely hanging on to the 200 exponential. If we lose the 200 exponential at $22.50, I uh, expect much further downside. Uh, we're going to come back down here and retest the lows at 1440, at which point in time uh, Uniswap probably goes to zero if we lose that level. Uh, maybe not zero. I guess we have a couple steps along the way. Uh, probably like back down to the single digits under $10. So. Hopefully you took profits. Uh, we did get involved with Uniswap uh, somewhere back here at like, I mean, it was at like $2. So uh, it's not unrealistic to think that after, you know, it basically 20 X that it's probably done for this cycle. Um, especially when, you know, it's obviously the, the cost to use the platform is, or the um, uh, service exchange, whatever you want to call it, uh, DAX um, is unsustainable. I mean, you can't, it, the infrastructure is not there. The fees are too high. Same with Ethereum. You know, it's unrealistic to think that these things are going to continue function. You know, it's one day it's a store of value. The next day it's a currency. Then it doesn't matter because it's decentralized. I mean, it's just justifications for, you know, hopium is essentially what it comes down to. And if you start breathing in too much hopium, you get high and then you lose all your money. Uh, Uniswap is not looking good. Momentum to the downside for sure. Uh, XRP, you know, they're trying to say the SEC is breaking. The SEC is just trying to push the price back down so they can finish accumulating because their owners in XRP and XRP is the new world reserve currency and blah, blah, blah. They've been saying all this stuff for five years. You know, it's still been delisted. Now it's going to get relisted. I mean, who cares? This thing is done. The cycle is running out and XRP did not even put in a new eye this cycle. The cult is literally dying. Too many people have drank the Kool-Aid and you know what? They're dying. They're dying of something. I don't know if it's from the Kool-Aid. I don't know if it's from, you know, too much hopium and they just passed out and fell down and hit their heads. I don't know if it's from the Rona Rona. Whatever it is that's killing XRP, it's not working. You know, somebody needs to get out there and run a marketing campaign because if this thing doesn't put in a new high this cycle, it is essentially a dead project. If it goes four years without putting in a new high, you might as well just dump your bags. XRP is going to zero. It is a complete failure. Uh, you know, and people that are like, oh, the SEC is just holding them up in court because they want to make sure that the cycle tops out before XRP can make a new. Who cares? Why would the why would the SEC give a fuck about Ripple, about XRP? They literally do not care about any of these cryptos. There's only two things that the SEC cares about. OK, one of them is themselves and the other one is getting money. They don't ever put anyone in jail. They don't give a shit about anything. All they want to do is if they think that they can win a court case, they want to take you to court. They want to get really, really close to winning. And then they want you to pay them a fee to not have to accept a judgment of, 
you know, basically the penetration that is the SEC into your backside. All they care about, all the SEC cares about is getting your money. They do not care about protecting the people. They do not care about anything. They just want money. They want money. Okay. Every time the SEC does anything, Security Exchange Commission takes anyone to court ever. What do they do? They literally just present enough evidence that you eventually just give up, you capitulate, and you pay them millions and millions of dollars. That's all they want. So if XRP really gave two shits, if Ripple really gave two shits about anyone, about their crypto, about this market cycle, about their investors, quote unquote, they would literally just pay off the SEC like everyone else does, like Michael Saylor did. You just pay them their money and then you go about your business. But instead, they are fighting it because they think they're going to win an unwinnable situation. You will never beat the SEC. You will never win against the government because they are the government and they will literally just lie or kill you or just say that you're guilty regardless. You cannot win. It's a corrupt system. So just pay them their money and go about your business. But instead, you're just going to go to zero. So XRP, total garbage. Chart looks like garbage. Probably one of the worst in crypto. Uh, Dogecoin looks very weak. We broke down from a key level. We pushed back up to the exact level. And now here we are. We have seen the 200 simple has crossed above the 200 exponential. 8 and 21 are breaking to the downside. And for the first time, wow, this might be literally one of the worst charts in crypto. We are now seeing we're below the 200 exponential. And it has, in fact, lost its slope. The slope has rolled over to the downside. So while the 200 simple still has a positive slope on it, the daily on Dogecoin is probably one of the worst looking charts right now not because it didn't make a new high this cycle it definitely meme stocked it up and just absolutely crushed this cycle but at this point in time this thing looks terrible this actual chart the actual technicals of dogecoin this that we're looking at right now is probably the worst chart we've watched today so far the only one that has lost the 200 exponential wow i mean some of the shit coins don't even have a new 200 exponential on the daily because they're so shitty and so new uh but dogecoin does so Dogecoin looks terrible. Uh, Cardano leads, um, you know, Charles Hoskinson literally bent you over and now he's just sticking it to you from the backside. So just because you don't turn around and see who's fucking you does not mean you're not getting boned. And right now, Cardano looks terrible. So have fun staking your Cardano to get a percentage while you lose a massive, massive percentage of your stack. So, you know, if you sold that $3, uh, like I was saying, $3 is the top, $3 is done, it's all over. You know, you're still up massively, uh, you know, and obviously at this point in time, you know, since then, it's down over 25%. It's going to go much, much lower. We're having lower daily closes every day. We're getting a lower daily close on it. So we have a couple wicks right here, but it doesn't matter. You are still getting bent over. You are still accepting the cardinal pounding right now. And I expect that pounding is only going to get worse. I mean, unless you're into that, but most people like to make money, uh, not lose it. So uh, we'll see what Charles has to come up with next. Everybody got pumped up. Smart contracts, Cardano, it's the best. It's going to take over the flippening. It's going to destroy Ethereum. All it has done literally is lose value since then. So buy the rumor, sell the news. The technicals were telling you back here that Cardano was a dying project. It was dead. It was done for this cycle at 260. We're now at 220 and we're headed down here to $1.65. Um, after that, who even knows this chart looks absolutely terrible it's gaining momentum to the downside um cardano is trash had a nice run though definitely some money to be made but let's be real here guys you know the whole narrative of all these crypto projects and how they're going to change the world and how there's all this greatness how many of them have a actual functioning product that works and i don't just mean can you go on to a decentralized exchange and trade crypto with someone else that you don't know for some ridiculous ass amount of money sure you can and so you're avoiding taxes and the tax man's never going to catch you here's the news the tax man will catch you you will go to jail for tax fraud and there's no one to save you uh i mean it's so ridiculous right now people are saying all this stuff about how nfts you can launder your money and you don't have to pay taxes and no one's gonna be able to figure it out i'm gonna tell you right now the more an NFT sells for, the more likely you are to go to prison for tax evasion because they don't care about people that are doing little $100 swaps on Uniswap. You don't think they care about people that are doing 
1.5 million dollar like fraudulent transactions uh on nfts and stuff absolutely blows my mind the crypto space has turned to total trash total moon boy trash and that's how you know the cycle is over no one is even talking reasonably anymore everyone is literally just high on drugs it blows my freaking mind and by drugs i mean the adrenaline of things pumping no one is even using their brain anymore it's so pathetic even people i respected have completely lost their fucking minds um sushi looks terrible another lower high clear downtrend really need to get back up here above 21 8 and 21 getting ready to cross to the downside another lower high blew through the trend line uh you know or the uh, slope line tried to flip back over blue and got rejected uh you know as typically you would expect to happen uh, Maddox still trading extremely technically, uh, very much respecting our Fibonacci internal retracement still. Uh, we basically have just broken down from the 0.5, attempting to rally back up another in a series of lower highs. 821 cross to the downside, looks terrible, lost the slope line. Stochastics trying to cross to the upside, look like it's about to just be another rejection like this one. Um, looks terrible. Maddox headed down to $1.10 uh, after that 89 cents uh polka dot uh much stronger than most it actually put in a high right here came down retested the 200 simple and then put in a new high but again it looks very weak uh at this point in time selling back off barely above the 21 uh we have lost the slope on the 200 simple even though we're well above it um you know this looks like basically just distribution all over someone's face uh 27 dollars 68 cents uh is the next target to the downside possibly as low as 24 if this thing should rally if all of a sudden it turns into the next of the crypto meme stocks i expect it to come back up here to 48 dollars and test the highs i think that's extremely unlikely but a 50 percent rally is not impossible at this point in time uh we're seeing very clear bearish divergence uh between the indicator oscillators and you know obviously crypto is running out of steam i mean there's no one new coming into the space and the people that are coming into the space they will literally be gone in the snap of the fingers because they're buying in at essentially a couple percentage or at all-time highs um litecoin you know obviously tried to start up this rally someone you know obviously did some extremely illegal shit tweeted out acted like litecoin was getting picked up by walmart uh you know in my opinion walmart should have immediately come out and said something litecoin founder charlie lee and their crypto or their uh twitter account everybody should have just come out immediately and said we don't know anything about this instead they're probably going to be in they're going to get investigated by the sec they're going to get fined by the sec uh they will get come after because their official twitter account came out and said this is great news like you can't like litecoin is so big it has so many employees and it's such a huge project that it's like oh my gosh we got picked up by walmart how did i not know about this let's quickly tweet it you couldn't just ask like the other three people working on litecoin hey did we get picked up by walmart no i don't think so hey charlie did we get picked up by walmart nope i don't think so maybe we better not tweet out about it because we don't want to go to prison uh this is just this whole situation this whole crypto market is absolutely out of control uh litecoin is on the border of one of the worst cryptocurrencies that is still exists right now uh, as it essentially just came back up and retested the all-time high but could not break above it uh bitcoin dominance looks absolutely terrible uh we broke down from here essentially what i'm expecting to happen is an attempt to move back to the upside uh we put in some bullish divergence down here uh still looks bad on the weekly uh, but essentially what we're we're just determining now is this the end of it um obviously bitcoin dominance went lower in 2018 for like the alt cycle pump uh where the alts went absolutely parabolic after bitcoin had topped out um you know was this that move right here when the alts went absolutely par parabolic uh after bitcoin had topped out i mean we really don't know yet technically you know bitcoin topped out around this range while our alts went absolutely parabolic and now we're just trying to hang on to that level so uh not a ton to be told right here we're still in a very clear downtrend on this but at some point in time hopefully for the health of cryptocurrency and the future of cryptocurrency hopefully bitcoin can actually gain some strength back get back above the 200 exponential and simple and that will basically be you know the beginning of the bear market and the death of many of these fake scam altcoin projects uh total market cap on the weekly you know basically just a double top uh slightly lower but trying to hang on to its support levels here we see a very clear you know much weaker push up here we have maintained and gotten back above the slope line but we're already starting to see some weakness come in um, and obviously this is no thanks to bitcoin this is the trash bag altcoins that push back up the musical chairs of you know 
memes, stock, cryptos.